Little Scout's Boating Adventure in the Florida Keys with illustrations by Dolly 2, Artificial Intelligence. The Little Scout is an adorable kitten. He was adopted by an old man who loved him and played with him every day. In time, the little scout loved the old man in return, and the old man became the little scout's person. They lived in a big house where the little scout made friends with a lizard and some frogs who came to the window to see him. One day, the little scout's person bought a boat for $900. It was an old sailboat, a very old boat. The old man spent many long days outside working on the boat. He told the little scout that this was the little scout's luxury yacht. Some day soon, the little scout would go on some great adventures on the $900 luxury yacht. In the meantime, the old man and the little scout moved into the boat while it sat on its trailer in their driveway. By living on the boat in the driveway, the little scout's person hoped that little scout would get used to being on the boat. Hopefully the little scout would come to think of the boat as his new home and a safe place to be before the boat started rocking when it was in the water. After many months of work, the day finally came when the little scout's person put their luxury yacht in the water. They both got in the car and towed the boat to a big ramp that led down into the water. Very carefully, the old man backed the boat down the ramp and into the water. The $900 luxury yacht was finally afloat. After taking the car back to the house, the little scout and his person moved back into the boat. The boat seemed different to the little scout because it rocked and moved just a little bit all the time. After breakfast the next morning, the little scout's person raised the sails and their luxury yacht started to move. This wasn't the gentle rocking motion the little scout had felt during the night. This time the entire boat moved away from the dock and was going somewhere else. Soon they had sailed so far from the dock that the little scout could not see any land anywhere. They were totally surrounded by water with no land to be seen anywhere. They sailed for several days on the open ocean with no land to be seen anywhere. The little scout's person drove their boat most of the time, even late into the night. The boat could sail itself while they slept, and when the old man cooked their meals. After many days at sea with no land to be seen, a small lighthouse appeared on the horizon. The little scout's person steered the boat towards the lighthouse. Gradually it started to look bigger and closer as they sailed towards the lighthouse. After what seemed like a very long time, they reached a small island called Boca Chica. The little scout's person sailed their luxury yacht into the small harbor at the island. They were in a completely new and unfamiliar place, but at least there was dry land instead of water everywhere. The little scout's person tied their luxury yacht to some cleats on the dock. This way they could explore the island without the boat drifting away. They explored the island together enjoying the rest of their first day on land in a long time. Boca Chica is a small island, but there are a lot of interesting things to see there. That night they barbecued dinner over a fire and roasted marshmallows for dessert. The sky was very clear and they could see a lot more stars than they saw in the sky back where their house was. That night they both slept very well. It was the first time in many days that the boat hadn't been rocking in big waves out on the ocean. They both fell into a deep and dreamless slumber.
When they awoke the next morning, the little scout's person took him for a walk to the beach at the far side of their little island. They waited near the shore and watched the sun come up over the ocean. After watching the sunrise, they returned to the sailboat where the little scout's person cooked breakfast for them. They had a hearty breakfast because they had a big day of exploring ahead of them. After breakfast, the little scout and his person went ashore and explored the island some more. <laughs> they found lots of interesting things to see. One of the first things they found was an old cannon from an ancient Spanish galleon that had sunk near the island. The Spanish galleon was sunk by pirates near the island many years ago. At that time, there were lots of pirates at the island. Much later, divers found the cannon and brought it to the island so people could see it. The little scout found a giant anchor near the place where he had found the cannon. The anchor had been from the same Spanish galleon that the cannon came from. The little scout and his person went snorkeling near the beach at the island. They saw starfish and many kinds of seashells. In the water they saw several lionfish which were beautiful but they are an invasive species that harms the other fish who live there. If you can catch a lionfish near Florida or the Bahamas don't throw him back. It's better to cook him for dinner instead. They also saw a conch. These are very large snails that are one of the main food sources for people who live in the Bahamas. They have special ways to cook them which make them delicious. The little scout and his person left the conch alone so there would be more of them there in the future. Just after dinner that night, many boats came to the island. It was Friday night and lots of people came to spend their weekend at the island. Boats kept coming late into the night and soon the entire harbor would be full of boats. That night there was a huge party on the island. They had loud music and lots of colorful disco lights. People had barbecues, ate food, drank their drinks and danced with each other late into the night. The next day the island was full of life as all the people enjoyed the beach, played music, cooked more barbecue and had a wonderful time together. That night there was another giant disco party with loud music and everyone danced to the music late into the night. They had good food, good conversations and enjoyed their time on the island. On Sunday evening after dinner all the boats left the island. On Monday morning they were all gone. The little scout and his person were the only ones there. The little scout and his person had the island all to themselves all week long. The old man put up a hammock and took a nap on the most afternoons. They enjoyed swimming, snorkeling, and exploring all week. They look forward to another party every weekend. And that is illustrated by Dolly to Artificial Intelligence. And the next book is Little Scout in the Exuma Bahama Islands. Also illustrated by Dolly to the most advanced image generating artificial intelligence in the world. And that's all, folks.